Hello students, welcome back to Rosie Maths class. This video is for class 4 students and here we are going to discuss chapter number 1, Shapes Around Us. This is from the new NCRT textbook released this year, Maths Mela for grade 4. The chapter starts with little girl Diksha who wanted to go to a big city during her summer holidays. So her father took her to Delhi and they visited many old and new interesting places there. After she is back from Delhi, she makes a model of India gate using her wooden blocks and a picture is given with the girl sitting with the wooden blocks. On this page, two buildings are given. You need to make a model of the buildings shown, any one you can make and there are some questions given that you need to answer. Next, there is a project work where you need to observe a street carefully and make a model showing the main buildings on the street. Page number 3, you have craft activities. You have to make a sphere like shape with paper strips. Also there are nets given at the end of the book to make the models of prisms and pyramids. So here you will learn about triangular prism, square prism, hexagonal prism and triangular pyramid square pyramid and pentagonal pyramid. All these nets are given at the end of the book. You need to use these nets and make the models. Your teacher would help you do this. Next you have a table where the different shapes are given like the cube, cuboid, triangular pyramid, square pyramid, triangular prism. You need to write the number of faces denoted by F, number of corners denoted by V, number of edges denoted by E. And then you need to identify the relationship between the number of faces, edges and corners. And that is F plus V minus E. This you need to calculate in each of the cases and fill in the table. Also there are some cube models given. You need to build these models with the cubes from the Jadui Pitara kit or any other similar material. Also you will find cube towers and you need to find out how many cubes are there in each of these cube towers? This is given on page number 7. Then you have a dot grid. That means dots are given and you need to draw cubes on that dot grid. So you will learn about the different 3D shapes, 3 dimensional shapes like the sphere, cone, pyramid, prism. And you should be able to find out the faces, edges and corners by now. Okay. Also, you will learn about the nets of the different 3D shapes. So, you will get questions where you need to match it or you should be able to identify, okay, this net is given. Would I be able to make a 3D shape using this? So, this activity also you have to do. The next topic is when lines meet. Under this topic, you will learn about the different angles, right angle, acute angle and obtuse angle. These are the three angles that you are going to learn. Use activities to learn this. Use two straws to make angle. Also some yoga postures are given. You should be able to find out the angles. A house is given. A boat is given. You should be able to find out how many angles are there. Under the letters to section also where you have many pictures and you need to mark the angles there. Then you have the dot grid again and on the dot grid you need to draw the angles like you can draw acute angle, obtuse angle, right angle and if the angle is given to you, you should be able to identify the angles. Acute angles are less than a right angle. Obtuse angles are more than a right angle and right angle is just like a L shaped angle. Okay, so these are the three angles that you would learn. Next you have shapes with straws. So you have to make a triangle, a rectangle uh, with straws of different size and clay and then you have to gently push one of the sides and see if there is any change in the shape or not. Next topic is circles. So you can make a circle using straws. That's an activity. Also you can use a scale to draw a circular shape. So that also you would learn that how you can use a scale to draw a circle. Next you have a paper folding activity. Using this activity you would learn about the different parts of a circle, the center, radius and the diameter. We know that a circle can be easily made using a compass. So using a compass you have to make a rangoli and that is given on page number 18 where a beautiful rangoli is given that you need to draw using circles. 
there are some puzzling shapes activity given on page number 19 and 20. Next you have the matchstick activity where using matchsticks you have to make triangles and some questions are based on matchstick activity also. So by the end of this chapter you should be able to identify all the 2D shapes, 3D shapes, the different angles, acute angle, obtuse angle, right angle, the nets and the related 3D shapes, circle and the different parts of the circle. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you.